did this and all this hair came out of your head. <laughs> what is happening? Friends, welcome back. I'm Camille. This is Griffin. Phoenix is asleep somewhere downstairs, and you're watching Mueller Husky. Oh my god. If you're new to this channel and you want to find out more about Siberian Huskies or you just love watching videos of cute dogs on the internet, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tap that little notification bell so you never have to miss a new video. Halloween is this week, people, and just like with any Whew! <laughs> just did this and all this hair came out of your head. <laughs> What is happening? Halloween is this week, people, and just like with any holiday, anytime something is different, or there's a lot of people over, or things are happening, it can sometimes be a little bit unsafe for your dogs. <laughs> I can't do videos with this dog. Here are a couple safety tips to make sure you and your fur babies can stay as safe as you possibly can during Halloween. Number one, keep candy as out of reach as you possibly can. If your dogs are counter surfers like Gryffindora over here, if you think it's high enough out of reach, it's probably not high enough. She's a lot taller than she seems. She can reach onto counters. We actually left a stack of tortillas once on the counter and she had gotten into it and eaten the entire stack. We don't want our dogs doing that kind of stuff with our Halloween candy, which one can contain chocolate, which is really bad for dogs, and xylitol, which can be found in a lot of sugar-free gums, which is also super bad and scary for them. Save yourself the trouble, save yourself the call to the vet, and just keep all your candy as far away from the floor as you possibly can. And of course, if your dog does get into something that they're not supposed to get into, make sure you call your vet as soon as possible so that they can get whatever help they need to. Number two, if your dog is a runner like Phoenix, opening and closing the door a bajillion times in the night for trick-or-treaters is just a temptation for her. It is one of my biggest fears that I'm gonna open the door for kids that are trick-or-treating and she's just gonna scoot out and run down the street never to be seen again. For this, I think it'd be smartest to have a baby gate in front of the door so that every time I open the door, the dog still couldn't get out. It really depends on your dog. I know that Griffin definitely does not want to run away. Like we've been able to have her off leash a lot because she just loves being with us, but Phoenix is for sure a runner. So definitely know your dog and know what to do with them if you're going to be opening and closing the door a lot. If they're not friendly or if they're runners like my dog Phoenix, it might be best to have them somewhere else in the house that they can't get to the front door. As much as I want everybody to see my dog's costumes, sometimes they can be a bit scary and sometimes they can get out and run down the street. And number three, it's always good to check in on your dog, especially when they're wearing something like costumes. You know your dogs best. You know when they're acting funny. Make sure you continuously check on them so that they're not overheating in their costume or that they're not like having a hard time breathing in it. It's not something that they would wear every day, so it could be uncomfortable or awkward for them. What might be fine for just a quick cute little picture might not be as good to be walking around in, especially in whatever weather you end up being in. I live in Southern California, so it might be pretty hot and I don't want my dogs to overheat in their adorable costumes. Always make sure you're checking in on them. Always make sure they can breathe okay. Always make sure they don't look or seem way too uncomfortable, that they're not acting like their normal selves. Maybe it's time to take the costume off. Like I said, you know your dog. Make sure you just check in on them. That being said, everyone have a safe and fun Halloween, and I hope your dogs get to enjoy some fun treats as well. Happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on the little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here, and if you want to check out our vlog channel, you can go down there. Do you hate this? Oh my god, you're so cute. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This is a Pillow. All right, it's been real. See you guys next week. Bye. Oh, Griffin.